from this point here, and I'm interested to hear your take on like what you're thinking on the lower half, what your cues and like how you've been taught or whatever. But I think if from here you just think about like dropping, like try to get as low as possible, like try to almost do a single leg squat. Uh -huh. It's gonna allow you to get in a position where you can use the back leg better to actually push the hip socket open as opposed to just kind of like drifting forward and waiting till you land. Like you're, you're elite at separating like at shoulder hip separation in like the back bend in the linear direction, but like you don't get a whole lot of rotation. And I think it's because you maintain this like hip hike as you go out, you're still hiked, still hiked. Yeah. And then you get to like right about here, but you're already kind of like falling forward. And so that back leg is kind of dead. And so the hip doesn't lead the shoulder. So you're missing that rotational piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested on, on your thought process, like from top of leg lift, like do you think about anything on your lower half? Do you try to keep, like do you try to shoot your hip out? Do you try to stay okay. closed? Yeah. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get that shin angle, um, whether right or wrong, this is what I'm trying to do. I noticed during spring training that my velo would go up without me necessarily trying to do any more effort. When on leg lift, I would get that shin angle um, geared more towards, um, yeah, see how my knee's drifting there? Yeah. So I'm trying to get that shin angle going that way a little bit in order to create that momentum towards home play. And then the only thing I'm thinking now after that is maintain contact with the rubber not just my whole foot with the ground as I, for as long as i can while i try and rotate my hips that's what i'm right. thinking about the lower half so see how like gotcha. i'm keeping my foot in contact with the ground there yeah so i think yeah, cause I know. Bullpen, yeah in this bullpen that was the main focus and the bullpens you know in the past have been the main focus of trying to maintain contact with the like we've talked about in spring training before how i come up on my toe early yeah so this this part right here like is really good it's made a lot of improvement because you're yeah. rolling to the inside of the foot and then you're torquing around that big toe as opposed to kind of stepping and it's the same type of look that you see in these couple frames if you watch my foot it's the same thing you get this roll to the inside of it and that torque around the the big toe yeah so like that's that's happening which is good i just think that like with how powerful you are in the lower half like you should be able to get into this like more yeah. dropping position as opposed to this here. I, I would 100% agree. So the thing is the whole drop and drive thing, um, I think has been in my mind like, well, I don't want to drop and drive. And so now that makes sense with what you're saying in a sense of, well, your weight's not over your foot. Drop and drive is just like having a balance point over your mm -hmm. over the rubber, dropping down and pushing out. And I knew that that's, I'm like, that's not right. So I'm not gonna drop and drive. But it makes sense to where when I'm creating, when I'm moving forward, and then like you're saying, it's, see like I work with simple cues and you know that. So it's like, just do a one-legged squat. It's like, oh, I could do that. I could do that yeah. easy. Like I, I just need a simple cue like that. And people, some people think that, oh, like I'm super detailed and very, um, I can be very complicated, but it's really not the case. Like. Something as simple as that really helps me in the sense of, all right, once I move forward, do a single legged squat, rope, and then do everything else that I'm doing already. And it's yeah. So that's where I'm like, I think about things super complicated. Um, and so I have a hard time explaining to other people because I don't use like cues like that. I, I want to know the science and the, how everything works. That's how my mind works. Yeah. So like I've been, I mean, we've been going back and forth on this for, and shoot. Eight months Man. now since yeah. last year. We've been, we've been talking about this for a really long time. Yeah, Man. but we made a lot. We made a lot of improvement. Yeah. But I think there's like this last piece, and you can probably do it. Like, if you, if you shift, if you get to this position, where your center of mass is in front of that back foot. Yeah. And you try to do a single leg squat, you're gonna feel like it's super uncomfortable because your body takes off like really quickly. Okay. Um, and it's like, if you have a pool or something like that and you can do it off the edge of a pool so you don't have yeah. to like land and you yeah. can just feel what it feels like to drop into that back leg, mm -hmm. 
like that might be a place to start. Yeah. Um, that's something but, that Vito Portal recommended too. Yeah. I, so I did that a lot in high school. I was like, I just stand on the edge of a pool and do my mechanics into the pool so I could get the start of it correct. Yeah. And I didn't have to worry about landing because I wanted to teach my body to be comfortable, like moving super fast. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Um, but as, so, long as, you, as long as you get the center of mass in front, then you want to think about dropping. And then the other thing that I was going to say is you want to think about the, the back leg and the back hip, like the... Um, like your quad area and your hip socket almost being locked together where you're not internally rotating the femur. Uh -huh. You're locking it with the hip socket and rotating the hip socket as a whole. Okay. So like getting to, uh, that's probably a little bit too complicated. I think it'll no, clear I, up I if you, so like right here, I'm not like turning my, I'm not internally rotating my knee. It's yeah. turning the hip socket. Okay. And from here, I'm, I'm locked in a position because I've dropped into, into like, I've gotten depth on the back leg yeah. that I can actually, when I drive from this position, it's pushing the hip socket open as opposed to, like, extending the leg, almost like you're doing a, uh, like, a side, um, like, a side broad jump or something like that. Yeah. So you don't want to extend because that doesn't rotate the hips. But when you exactly. drop into this position, as long as you've gotten your center of mass out front when you go to drop it's going to position your hip socket in a way that when you do drive off the back leg, it's going to pop the hips open. Yeah. And as soon as you get, as soon as you find a way to get this, uh, like that motion into landing, you're going to, you're going to sit a hundred, like very easy. Yeah, I agree. So and it's just a matter of getting that, that final like feel for you. Absolutely.